Imagine for a second that you need a 3D asset of a mushroom. So you open up Discord and issue a simple prompt, forward slash genie beautiful mushroom, and voila, you're presented with this, all within literally 10 seconds. Or maybe you need an alien. Or maybe you need a banana. That's what Luma AI can do for you. Luma is a 3D generative AI that allows you to issue prompts and download 3D assets that can then be used in 3D programs or even on the web with 3JS, which is exactly what we're going to do in this video. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy. So the very first thing you wanna do is click on the top link here in YouTube if you're watching on YouTube and you're gonna be taken to lumalabs.ai forward slash genie. And this is the landing page, kind of a cool little effect right here, by the way. It's a particle system that kind of transforms between different objects. Anyhow, click on Create on Discord right here. And assuming you have a Discord account ready to rock, then you'll be right here. Now, the first thing, the first channel you should check out is the Genie Prompt Guide. And this is just gonna give you some basic information. It's not a long page by any stretch of the imagination. So it's definitely worth checking out. One of the main things to realize here, at least at the time of recording this and this early kind of research preview as they're calling it, um, you wanna just have simple prompts describing a simple single object. If you try to get a little bit more complex like a mid journey prompt, you're not gonna have good results. So you're also able to add descriptors, um, there's a, just a lot of other information right here uh, that you can look at on your own time. But yeah, you can also add like Pixar render, like different types of renders right here, which is really cool as well. Um, so the way you get started, is just to type forward slash genie and then your prompt. I mean, that is it. And so we can see this shoot, there's five different channels over here. You can hop into any one of these and we could try to generate our own. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. So what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna type in forward slash genie and then uh, for that prompt, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna say uh, an old broken television. That's all I'm gonna say. Now let's see how fast this is. I'm not gonna speed this video up. Uh, we're gonna sit here and just talk a little bit. It is faster than Mid Journey. And if you've ever used Mid Journey, you'll know, you know it takes you know, typically maybe about 40 seconds or so for it to generate. Um, but this ends up generating, there it is. It's already here. So this is a, I, a TV essentially, a 3D model that we can go ahead and then use. So for instance, we can say, I like the top left one I could tell the most. There's, there's no weird artifacts compared to the other ones. Um, and it's nice and boxy, I just like it. So let's say for instance, we wanna have like a higher quality uh, resolution, we can click refine one. Or if we're just ready to download it as is, we can click on one and we can click visit site and it's gonna show you in their web-based editor, and by the way, you can you can zoom up on this thing. This is done with 3JS orbit controls, by the way, um, being able to like move it around and stuff. Um, and then at this point, you can go in and you can actually just download it. So right on the lower right-hand corner, there, right there, that, that little download button, that gives you access to a GLB file. All right, so this GLB file, you can actually then import into other 3D apps, or in our case, since we're front-end developers in this case, I, we can actually import it, the GLB file, directly into a 3JS project. So I already have the 3JS project set up, and all I have to do is literally drag that GLB file from my downloads folder into my project folder, and it will show up. All right, so let me show you. Now we're gonna go back here to Visual Studio Code. And now if you've ever never seen the boilerplate setup for just getting a simple scene for 3JS, it's it's quite lengthy as you can kind of see here. But the only area that we're really interested in is just right here where we load in the actual GLB file. We can set the scale if we need to, uh, we add it, and then there we go. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and drag that GLB file just into my static folder. Now I'm gonna right click and rename it just to TV. All right, we're gonna go back to script.js. We're gonna change this to TV and then we're gonna save it. And guess what? It is there. Take a look at this. Now it's a little bit small, so let's, let's get that scale. Maybe we'll three times the size. So I'm gonna set those parameters. All right, now it's real big and beefy essentially. 
So I could have clicked refine to get probably a higher quality resolution, but nonetheless, it is actually working. So let me just show you a couple of the other examples that I imported that other people created, which we saw you know, very briefly at the beginning, like uh, mushroom. This one is very cool, except I have to make it much smaller. One and one. Take a look at this one. That is just amazing looking. I love it. And you could do all sorts of things, being the fact that we are in 3JS, which is a web project. So if you want to change the color intensity up here, you know, maybe we'll change this to like FFCC00 and we'll get this crazy look. I mean, we can just really alter this. You can, you know, set up a particle system and make it comprised of particles instead of like a texture. Um, we could do scroll-based animations and move it and scale it and rotate it, which is what my advanced front ends course is going to include, by the way. So definitely check out the YouTube link for that. But overall, um, the one caveat that is unfortunate about this entire situation is the fact that these are large files. Uh, so if I reveal in File Explorer and I show you the size of these things, Alien, I which we saw at the beginning of the video, 5.4 megs. Uh, banana is, just a simple banana is 3.6 megabytes. The mushroom that we just saw is 6.5 megabytes. That's a lot. Uh, so I spoke with somebody from their team and they said they're definitely gonna be working on that. Uh, so I have hopes that they'll be able to simplify uh, the geometry. I'm sure that's probably the main issue. There's probably too many vertices that are being generated. Therefore, these are large files. But I, they have a lot of other ideas in the work, so I'm excited about this. And I think it is a tool that we'll be able to use in project production with minimal effort. And now we're able to just generate 3D assets literally within seconds, which is awesome. All right, everybody, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.